project essentially it's about three things, pathogens, places and people using innovative visualisation to try and assist healthcare staff to prevent and control healthcare associated infections. Pathogens are what we would call uh, viruses or bacteria, uh, often referred to as germs or bugs, that can be quite a problem under certain conditions in hospitals and healthcare environments. They can be spread in numerous ways. The most common way of spreading them is probably hand contact or hand to surface contact. How is it that staff see these pathogens in the mind's eye, if they see them at all, when they go about their clinical work. From my clinical experience, I was always interested in how healthcare staff, cleaners, nurses, doctors, visualised these things, if at all, in their heads as they went about their work. These organisms are invisible to the naked eye. And that was always one of the thoughts that we had, that if people could actually see these organisms or imagine them, that that might make their behaviour change in a more radical way. Through the AHRC and SFC sandpit events, we met up with uh, other interested researchers. We've got a number of partners uh, within Robert Gordon University. We've got the Institute for Health and Welfare Research, along with the Ideas Institute. We've been collaborating very closely with the University of Dundee, uh, Glasgow School of Art, uh, NHS Education for Scotland, Health Protection Scotland, NHS Grampian and NHS Lanarkshire. Within space of about six months, it became a very large collaboration, a national collaboration and a multidisciplinary one. There's been efforts ongoing in the last 10 to 20 years, uh, especially in healthcare in Scotland and the UK, to try and combat these through educational initiatives, through altering the way we prescribe antibiotics. So there's been a, a raft of measures but one of the areas that hasn't really been tackled is this idea of what healthcare staff actually think about and how they see these things in their heads. In recent years, uh, members of our team especially have been involved on the microbiological side in trying to monitor actually what people touch when they come into hospital areas, who touches what and what's actually growing there. Our knowledge of this is growing all the time and we wanted to try and use some of that new data to develop some more innovative, dynamic visualisations. I'm Dr Fiona Wood. I'm a designer who focuses on visualising data so that it can be understood by people from different backgrounds. At the start of the project, the team worked together to develop a series of workshops that would engage healthcare workers, and these involved domestic staff members, patient representatives and nurses. During the first workshop, we gave healthcare workers modelling toolkits which they could use to develop models of pathogens of how they viewed these in their mind's eye. During the second part of the workshop, healthcare workers were asked to mark up images with dots of green and red that would represent low and high risk touch points. Through mapping this information, we could see that healthcare workers thought there was a vast spread of pathogens within a room and most of the room became covered in green and red dots. The reason for developing this visualisation was to help us visually represent the data gathered at other workshops in one space. So this allows us to show the low and high risk touch points as well as how healthcare workers visualise pathogens in their mind's eye. It converted a lot of scientific data from long longitudinal studies into something that was quite visual and easy for people to relate to. Because although we have all that data, it's not something that a lot of people identify with. A handheld tablet could be used to provide clinical staff with this information as they walk around a clinical space. We developed this visualisation to help healthcare workers to visualise the invisible within their clinical working space. And this example is interactive and allows healthcare workers to switch the screen between nurses, domestic staff, patient representatives and other healthcare workers. It's enabled us to look at it from a completely different way in terms of educating staff, that they would actually be able to see something, a dynamic visualisation, that they could perhaps identify better than giving them a lecture or a talk. And also because it's electronic and digital, they can access that at a time and a location convenient to them, and they can access it as many times as they like. 
I think the value of collaborating on a project like this is just the richness of the thinking that comes from different disciplines, the establishment of trust as you uh, gain confidence in exchanging ideas with your, your colleagues, and sometimes the confidence actually to have disagreements in a creative way, uh, bringing in your kind of own disciplinary traditions. But we've found we've been very lucky in that our collaborators are very willing to see things in different ways. I would like to thank the EHRC because without the funding we wouldn't have been able to engage with this project and uh, get so many new working relationships and I do think that it's going to make a huge difference. The Healthier Scotland project is a really exciting one. It enabled us to run with an idea, an important idea for people in Scotland because healthcare associated infections are a major problem in countries throughout the world and Scotland's no exception so there was a chance to look at things in a slightly different way by uh, getting involved with different disciplines so it gave us that chance uh, to work things up uh, actually over a reasonably long period with the support of the HRC and the SFC and then to hit the ground running and be able to actually enact the research uh, over a, a two year or so period so that was very valuable and we think that the outcome of that um, will be valuable to uh, people in frontline healthcare who are delivering it, but also hopefully ultimately to people who receive healthcare. It's, it's a challenge to work in this field and I think uh, we're at the cusp of different traditions, but um, in the challenge lies excitement.